they're just, you know, we could, we could hire uh, consultants in compensation to come in and they'd want We never them. have. No, we never will. <laughs> it, uh, uh, you know, they would, they would want to please the people they were working for and get referred elsewhere. I mean, I will guarantee you that if you go into many corporations, you know, if you've got a comp committee, it, it meets periodically and the human relations VP comes in and probably suggests a compensation consultant to take and, you know, who does the human relations VP want to, want to, whose approval do they want? You know, the CEOs, you know, whose, whose approval does the comp compensation consultant want? Well, they want to get recommended elsewhere by the CEO and the human relations uh, BP. So what kind of assistant do you get? You get what, what I call ratchet, ratchet, and bingo. You know, I mean, <laughs> uh, we're not going to have any of that at Berkshire. And uh, like I say, it's, it's worked very well. Now, we have people who make lots of money at Berkshire. I mean, that uh, we've, got, we've got numbers in, uh, in eight figures when you know, a page and a half or so, as I saw the other day, that, that would be at a million dollars or an over, and, and we'll have more. But, but it does relate to logical measures of performance in practically all cases. And uh, uh, the amount of time we spend on it is, is just still, I, you know, I am the compensation committee for 60 or 70 people, and I'm not overworked. <laughs> Anything further on that, Charlie? Well, in past years, I've made the remark that about compensation consultants, that prostitution would be a step up for them. Yeah. Charlie's also in charge of diplomacy at Berkshire. 